want to discuss some depreciation methods and how you can use the HP B2 Plus financial calculator to do the calculations. I've actually done a tutorial of this using the uh, Texas Instruments BA2 Plus financial calculator. I thought I'd do one for the um, HP calculator as well. So the most common depreciation method is the straight line method. This is the case where you take the cost, subtract the salvage value, and divide by the useful life. And that gives you the depreciation for each year. And it's always going to be the same. Okay, very simple to do. It's the first method you generally learn in an accounting class. So, for example, we can just use the formula here, 100,000 minus 25,000 divided by the five-year useful life. So from our example, 100,000 is the machine cost, the salvage values, 25,000, and the life is five years, and you get 15,000 per year. How do you do this on the financial calculator? Well, above the plus minus key is a blue SL. That stands for straight line. Above the RCL key is SOYD, stands for sum of the year's digits, which is another method we'll talk about shortly. And above this M here is a DB, which stands for declining balance, which is another method we'll talk about. Now, before you put anything in, you're going to need to use these time value of money function keys to put in some of the information. So you want to clear that space. And you can clear it by hitting this blue up arrow key. And then above the C, it says CMEM. And then next to the number one, hard to see, says TVM. So that'll clear this workspace. So you can clear that. Or you can hit this. Um, down arrow key, this rust colored key, and under the C it says clear all. So both will work. So how do you put in the machine cost? That's paid for or that's the value right now, so that's a present value. The salvage value is what you'll sell it for in year five, so that's a future value. And N is the useful life, so you want to put 5 in here. So if you want to calculate the depreciation, you hit the year you want, 1, the up arrow key, and this SL, and you see 15,000. Now it's going to be the same every year, right? If we do year 2, the up arrow key, and you hit SL, it's also 15,000. The reason you have to tell it the year is that you can also find the book value. So um, let's go back to year one, 15,000. To get the book value, you hit this down arrow key, and below the K, it says swap. And that'll give you the book value. So it's 100,000, I'm sorry, it's 75,000 minus the 15,000 gives you 60,000 in book value. So it doesn't account for that salvage value, it accounts for the salvage value here. Okay, and you can do it in year two. Up arrow key. All right. Again, 15,000. And let's see, we will do the swap. And it's 45,000. So 60,000 minus the uh, 15,000 gives us 45,000. The second method is what's known as the sum of the year's digits. This is an accelerated depreciation method, which means that you're going to depreciate the asset at a higher rate in the early years and at a lower rate in the later years. So it's a little bit of a, a little complicated formula. This part right here is the rate at which you'll depreciate. And the denominator is the sum of the year's digits. So if the um, investment lasts for four years, it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which equals 10. Now, that's pretty easy to do, but if you had something that lasted longer than that, say 10 years or 20 years, it would be quite tedious to add it up. So there's a formula. n times the sum of n plus 1 divided by 2. And you can check, right? 4 times 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 gives us 10. So that's the denominator. This is the same thing here as here, 
except we just substituted the term life for n. And in the numerator, it's life minus n plus 1. And then you're going to multiply by cost minus salvage value. So let's figure out what the um, depreciation in years 1 and 3 will be for um, the same example we did before. $100,000 investment, $25,000 salvage value, 5-year useful life. So again, you just put in 1 up arrow key, sum of the year's digits, 25,000, right? You can use this formula, 5 minus 1 plus 1 is 5, and then the sum of 1 through 5 turns out to be 15. So 5 over 15 is a third, a third times 75,000 is 25,000. What's the book value? We can swap here, and it's again the 75,000 minus the 25,000 or 50,000. And we can do it in year three as well. All right, three up arrow key, some of the year's digits, 15,000 in depreciation, and it turns out that the book value happens to be the same as well. All right, so again, if you did this calculation, this would be um, three divided by 15, that's one fifth times 75,000 or 15,000. In depreciation. The final method I want to mention is this declining balance method, another accelerated depreciation method. So how fast you want it to decline depends on the number you pick here. If you pick two, it's what we refer to as the double declining balance method, and that's a very popular method. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen anything other than the double declining method in a textbook. You take the cost, you divide it by the life times two in the double declining balance method, divided by the cost, that gives you the depreciation rate. And then you're going to multiply the rate times the book value in that period. And that'll give you the depreciation. So back to our example before, $100,000 divided by five times two divided by the 100,000 gives us 40%. So let's take a look at this table. So it's a, it's a little bit funny the way the calculator works it in this case. All right, there's one thing you're going to need to punch in here in order to do the calculation. All right, you have to tell it what kind of um, declining balance you want. If you want double declining balance, that's 200%, right, 2, and that goes into the interest rate. So now let's just do the first, let's do the first year. So if we take year one, do the same thing, declining balance. The depreciation is 40,000, and if we look at the book value, they give you 35,000. So they've taken the 40,000 in depreciation and subtracted it from the cost minus the salvage value. So with 75,000 here, um, subtracting the depreciation of 40,000 gives us 35,000. But for the next period, they only subtract the 40,000 from the beginning, from this original cost of 100,000. So you have 60,000. So 40% of 60,000 is 24,000. Let's see if that's what it gives us. So two, okay, up arrow key, declining balance. It gives us 24,000. And again, if we want to swap this out, it tells us that the remaining balance is 11,000. And then let's do it for the final year. Right, 40% of 36,000 is going to be something like um, 14,400, I think. All right, but you're only depreciating this down to the salvage value or the 25,000. So you only want to depreciate 11,000 more. And it does know to do that. So three up arrow key depreciation. It knows to only depreciate 11,000 more 
and it treats this now as the balance of zero, okay, which is really the salvage value, right? And if you look at year four, for example, it'll treat it as um, no depreciation, right? You've depreciated everything, so that's why you have um, zero, zero here. So it's a little bit quirky the way the calculator works, but it does do the calculation for you. Again, you're only depreciating down to the salvage value, so uh, that's why you only depreciate 11,000 here. You don't depreciate the full 40% of 36,000. You only bring it down another 11,000 so that you bring it down to um, the cost minus the salvage value.